it is a normal practice for any country to hold such exercises. Everything is being held in line with international law, Peskov said. Russian President Vladimir Putin may visit one of the stages of these drills, he said. Russia's defense ministry reiterated on Thursday that the exercises, which will last until September 20, are of a purely defensive nature and are not a threat to any third country or group of countries. But NATO officials say the drills will simulate a conflict with the alliance intended to show Russia's ability to mass large numbers of troops at short notice in the event of a conflict. Amid allegations about Moscow's aggressive ambitions from its post-communist neighbors, Russia's defense ministry has said that it does not intend to use the drills as a springboard to attack Lithuania, Poland, or Ukraine. Moscow says it is the West that threatens stability in Eastern Europe, because NATO has put a 4-0-0-0 strong multinational force in the Baltics and Poland. Russia's defense ministry said the current drills involve some 7,200 troops from Belarus and 5,500 from Russia, up to 70 aircraft and helicopters, up to 680 units of military hardware, including 250 tanks, up to 200 artillery pieces, multiple rocket launchers and mortars, and up to 10 warships.